Howdy guys, Sarcasm here. Welcome back to another episode of Baldur's Gate. The last episode we revived Garrick, uh, stocked up on some bolts, um, tried to clear the temple area. Where did you come from? <laughs> wow, I forgot, uh, at night time these chicks kind of roam. Paragost, you know, you know how that is. <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, um, lesson learned. Don't explore the temple area unless you're a little stronger. So we'll go back to that area. Um, in the meantime, let's try not to let Garrick die. Um, I may actually replace him with the guy that we're fixing to meet. Uh, in this episode, we are going to go to High Hedge. Um, you can actually go to High Hedge from this area when you meet MON, Monoron, and Zar. If you wanted to come here, um, there's a ranger that will join your party. Um, oh yeah, ignore that. I revealed that area when I left the temple a minute ago. Um, it's part of... these two are related. It's a later quest, like a chapter 3 quest or something. So uh, we won't be going to these areas for a while. Um, yeah, I decided uh, we could continue on the main road, but we should go a high hedge, go to high hedge, and uh, recover Doofus's uh, short sword. So and you know, just kind of get our levels up a little bit. We want to get some experience before we go into the mines. So let's just explore. The ranger's actually not that far in. He's like right here. Um, but see, we really need a mage. I don't know. I might come back for him. Because he's ticking me off and he's dying that quickly. Um, in case you guys don't know, I don't think I mentioned it beforehand. Um, but when you have couples... Let me quick save. When you have couples in your party that you got together, such as uh, Khalid and Jahira or Marron and Zar, if you replace one of them for another, or one of them for, whoa, something down here, replace one of them to, to get a new party member, the other will leave. So, like, if I replace, oh, more wolves. I think these wolves are different, though, so we should be, should be right. yes, Are you really almost out of arrows? Crap. Fire. I don't think these wolves are as bad, so we might be all right. Ow! Shoot! Dagger. There we go. Ah, uh, eh, that's much better. Those wolves are much better. So, but anyway, yeah. If you get rid of one, they will get. You will. The other will leave and be like, "Oh, well, if you don't want her, then you know, I'm gone too." Um, there is a way around that, though. If the other player, if the other person is dead, not the. Well, I suppose that would work too. But um, if either one of them or both of them are dead, they won't leave. Um, so, like, say Khalid dies. And I decide, you know, I don't want Khalid anymore. So I drop Khalid off and uh, recruit somebody else. Jahira won't leave. Um, oh. Skeletons, new enemy. Ow. They're, uh, they're throwing daggers at me, by the way. <laughs> Die. They don't really hurt that bad. My oh, that's starting to hurt. There we go. Alright, let's pick up their loot. They do have something interesting. Um, there we go. Uh, check out that medium shield. I'll show you that in a second. That's probably my favorite part about coming here is the... 
medium shields because they're cooler looking and they don't do anything different they're just a different design um, does the tech say something different? nope nope it's just a different design and um, really the only thing it does physically is I think it just changes the little orb but I like it so I'm gonna equip it uh, let's see you can hold the shields you can hold the swords. Uh, if you still have Zar, these throwing daggers are pretty good for him. Um, and they, but they only stack in tens, so it kind of sucks. Um, do they weigh anything? No. Okay, you can have them. Do 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 do. -do. Actually, I might, might start using them when she runs out of arrows. Something different. The skulls do weigh stuff. The skulls... <sighs> I don't remember if they're used for anything. Um, I know you can sell them. Pretty sure you can sell them here in High Hedge for a little bit of gold. But, uh... How mo I thought they were used for something. Like a spell. There's a, sp there's a mage spell called Skull Trap. I don't know if you actually have to have a skull to cast to cast it. Maybe not. I don't know. If anybody knows if the skulls are used for anything, um, let me know in the comments below. As well as any uh, secrets that I've missed. Secrets coming up. Um, opinions on uh, party. Uh, this particular episode I'm filming. Uh, I know I've said this before. I'm, I record all of these at at once. Not all of these, but I record a, like a chunk at once, which I know is not very good for getting feedback, but, you know, I'll... Eventually your feedback will catch up to the videos, so... Or the videos will catch up to your feedback, however you want to word it. Um, but one thing I was thinking about is if anyone has suggestions on party formations, um, you know, I don't have to go with these guys. Um, and as you have seen pause in my I haven't actually made a, a save in my game save here this is my original game um, you can see the party that I had here um, the, that's the paladin that you get up in the area north of friendly arm in um, Minx which you get in Nashcal uh, Dinah here, which is sort of related to Minx in a way. Um, I'll explain that once we get to that point. Uh, I don't remember what his name is. I don't even remember where I got him. I think I got him in Baldur's Gate. But, uh... And this guy, which I believe should actually have his portrait because his skin was purple and he's a thief. Um, don't remember where I got him either. <laughs> so as you see, I don't even have Kalidra Jahira anymore. Um, and the, like, the canonical... I don't have M1 anymore either. Um, the canonical—is that a word? Canonical. The canon party is part of the story. Is you know you, M1, Kalija here, Minsk, and Dinah here. So I could do. You know what do you guys think? I can do the canon party. Uh, I can do something completely different. Something different from these guys. Um, I don't even know how I. I don't even know why I ended up with some of these people. Um, I think I was getting tired of people dying. I'm probably going to get rid of Garrick pretty soon because his health concerns me. Uh, oh, you know what? No, ah, no, not quit. What are we doing? Let's update the rocks is save. <laughs> Haven't done that in a little bit. Okay. Uh, now, High Hedge, if you are a mage, if you are a mage, I don't, I don't want to make this claim if you have Zar in your party because it's not worth it for Zar. But if you yourself, as your character, if you are a mage, this place is worth coming to for the building here in the center. I know you, you know, High Hedge. That looks like a castle or something. Where is it? It's in the middle, and we'll get to it. Um, inside is a mage. That is also a store. He sells various uh, wands and scrolls and spells um, and so I think if you are a mage yourself your character 
it's worth coming to the store and picking up a couple of things. Um, a lot of it's expensive, but it's still the place place to come. Um, I want to say there's a store later on in Baldur's Gate that sells spells and stuff. So, yeah, we haven't really run into any gnolls yet. We run into skeletons. Oh, there's no skeleton. Ow! Um, how much damage did that do? Ouch, okay. Um, let's heal quickly. Ow! Potion, 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 bush, 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 Oh, I don't like that. I don't like his orange. I'm gonna change that color. Yeah. Pick up the loots. If I had any sense, I wouldn't pick up those daggers. Because <laughs> that just starts to fill up your inventory like crazy. Uh, shield. 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 Sword. <laughs> Sword. Dagger, dagger. Inventory management in this game is something to keep up with, you know. I'm surprised we haven't broken any weapons. Usually we break weapons by now. Oh, full. Yep. Okay. Um, I don't like your orange. Change your color. Hmm. Oh, there we go. I like that. And so he'll kind of take on our old colors. We'll, we'll go with the red. Oh, there we go. It's a little better. That's a little better. I don't like his colors either. No. Green? Oh, that looks good. Green. Uh, some gray. Oh, there we go. Uh, how about how about gray with green? Now he looks like Spider-Man. I don't want to. Well, there we go. That's not bad. All right, enough enough messing around. Let's continue. <laughs> I remember when I was younger and played through this game. I would. Uh, color scheme my party like Star Trek. Um, and I would progress d depending on where I was in the game. Like I'd start off with the original series color scheme and my character would have, uh, my main character would have green, you know, because you know, Captain Kirk's special, you know, green uniform. Uh, and then, you know, Someone, you know, ne the next in rank would have a yellow and or somebody in, in red and blue. And where's this enemy? Okay, an enemy side. Oh, there we go. one shot. Do that again. Ah, you're not gonna die. Stop complaining. Ah, you're not gonna die. Unless they like crit out of nowhere. Which could happen. Relatively, the skeletons are pretty weak. Oh, no, not the move here. But yeah, it was it was kind of funny. And then you know when I got to the to the friend, friendly arm in, I'd increase it to next generation color scheme. Move the reds and the yellows around. 
Uh, see, now we're picking up these stupid daggers and we're getting pretty full. That's the kind of stuff you stop picking up after a while, those stupid daggers. Where is this ranger? Could have swore. Oh, there he is. Aha. Uh, do we want to talk to him? Sure. Hail. Hail. What takes you out this far? Uh, we're adventurers. Aha. I have been hunting the bandits of the region. Perhaps we work together. We don't have the time to devote to that right now. Go ahead, we'll follow you. So, perhaps in the future. Don't think he walks on. Yeah, he just stays there. So you can come back and get him. And I may. I may. Might re replace. Uh, see, Jahira is good for mostly for her health. I like her health. Emma one's okay. Hmm. Oh, excuse me. Oh, see, there we go. We're starting to uncover the place. Oh, ah, there's some knolls. Look at them suckers. Too bad I can't zoom in. Guys might actually have that guy's sword. I'm down here. Now these stupid halberds are flipping heavy. See, look at that. They're 15 pounds. Uh, you're full. Okay. Uh, now, if you do grab that ranger up there. He has a proficiency in spears, which oddly enough is what these halberds are. Uh, proficiency type spear, so that's, that's good, to, good to give to him. Did he not... He have the sword? It's actually named different. Aha! There it is! Produce short sword! Aha! I think it just has the same description as a normal short sword. Yep, it does. So let's get that away from her. <laughs> so I'll know that that's the one we need to keep. Alright, let's get this area finished off. We've been uh, kind of messing around too much. Oh, don't get too close to the bear. The bear will attack you if you get too close to it. And they hurt. Stay away from the bear. Oh. Whew. Thought the bear. Oh. This. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Uh, uh, uh. Forward. Use our wand. Run, Emmeline! Run! Okay, no, Fire! Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Drink the potion! Oh, no. Why are you not drinking the potion? Forget that. Right. Let's go from range. Damn it. Damn it's taking eleven. That's how much health she has, by the way. <laughs> uh, what are you guys doing? 
Shut up. I'm tired of my people dying. And I don't really want to go back to that stupid temple. I am at one. That stupid bear. I don't want to talk. Hmm. Keep him on, because I want to show off the dual class. A simple task. Uh. All right. Well, let's get in here. We'll pick up the loot in a minute. Let's sell what we have, and then we'll figure this out. Um, now I think there's some guys in here that will attack you if you're not careful. Yeah, dang it. Um, oh, come on. I be volunteer. Talk to me anyway. Okay, let's get rid of some of this stuff. Uh, yeah, get rid of these daggers. Um, wait a minute. Maybe pick up her stuff, did I? I don't remember now. Okay. I don't think I did. If not, oh well. More short swords outside. <laughs> Somewhere. Okay. Uh, anyway, like I was saying about buying stuff. Some plus one stuff. Oh, look at that. Bolt plus one. Oh, I bought 20 for 150, didn't I? Okay, so that's actually more expensive. But he's got some specialized bolts. Look at this. Bolt of lightning, bolt of biting. So, uh, some potions. Various scrolls. Here's your mage scrolls here. Identify. Which I'm going to buy for him. Even though he can't even use it yet. He can after a while. Uh, say, look at all this. Uh, here we go, some wands. I don't know what these do. Well, do you use them or do you equip them? Uh, some robes. I thought he could equip robes. Perhaps not. Anyway, yeah, so if you're a mage, and, uh, some stuff for you here. Oh, good, he left me alone. Okay, yeah. Talk to him quick enough. I'll leave you alone. Now, you can attack him, and he does not drop the items in his store. <laughs> he drops crap. Uh, there's nothing else in here, so let's get back outside. Okay. Let's pick up some more stuff. Where's Emmeline's gear? 
Short sword bow. Uh, of course, it is you. Bit of all the junk. Full. Next. <laughs> And these guys. Oh, you know what? Need some curing going on here. There we go. You know, if you're quick enough, and I've only done this like once or twice, um, you can get the cure light wound spell casted before you die. It's quite, uh, and I mean, the animation is interesting. Um, like you die and you just you're standing back up and you're alive. It's it's glitchy. Then again, I've I've seen it to where. Um, I am at your service. Shut up on the boss plus one. Oh god, these guys are gonna hurt. Uh. Kill him! Ow. There we go. Did they drop anything? Yeah, guess not. Okay. Let's get this area finished off. You know, if I had any sense... <laughs> because I don't... Well... No, I need M1. I need M1. No. I, I keep contemplating getting rid of M1 for the Ranger, but I need M1. I need... Uh... Oh, shoot. Crap. I am at your service. Fire! One shot, as it should be. special. <clears throat> now, I, especially for the Nashcal Mines, um, <gasps> I didn't know there were spiders here. Oh boy. Um, um, I don't want to talk. It's glorious. Yes, or the group. Where to now? Don't. Hopefully it's just one. So far so good. Oh! Oh, not good. Um. Uh, what's my health? Okay. Knew that was coming. Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh, this could be bad. Um, 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 just got potions. Oh, oh, I forgot I had Emma Wynn's potions. <laughs> I'll just take them. No. Drink another one. Okay. I don't remember this area being this tough. Maybe maybe I just suck. 
Alright, we, we need to get this place finished. I, I feel like this episode's going to be long. If it is, I'm sorry. I don't mean it to be. More content, I suppose, right? Okay. Okay. So... The problem with the Nashcal mines that we're going to be going to soon is... Oops, is once you're in, I mean, you're pretty much in, it's... It's hard to leave and come back. Oh, I need to get... I need to get everybody some range. Come on. There we go. Probably gonna do that. Get, get everybody with some range on them. Oh, I leveled up. Cool. You get anything? No. <laughs> Good experience, though. Good experience. Um, no, not you. You're full. You're not full. Come here. Let's pick up some junk. About full again. Oh, there's a house here. What is this? <laughs> ah. Hey, map. Can I get in? Oh, I wonder if this is like the wizard's house or something. Let's see what's in here. Uh, a whole lot of nothing. Go past someone else. Uh, well, how do I get over here? That's obviously a room. Oh, aha. Here we go. Yay. Um, um. <laughs> yeah, no. Get in here. Let's force that lock. Trap. Oh, dang. Well then, I guess I won't find out what's in there. Anything else in here? No. Okie dokie. Well, that was disappointing. <laughs> Alright, let's press on. So yeah, problem with the mines, once you get in, it's kind of it's kind of hard to get back out. Oh, <laughs> I remember this guy. He, uh... He wants you to kill the mage. <laughs> uh. Yeah, see, he wants you to kill the mage, and so... One of the times I played this game, I was like, oh, yeah, sure, I'll kill him. And I killed him, and that's how I know he doesn't drop crap. <laughs> Sorry for the squeaking of the chair. All right, let's go back in here, sell some crap, and finish off this area. Should attack me. No idea what the purpose of that thing is. I want to sell stuff. There we go. Get rid of that. Get rid of this crap. Get rid of this crap. <laughs>
And this crap. You know, since there's not really a sell all button, but you don't necessarily want to sell all. Suppose it's the issue. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's get this place finished. Quick save. I think Emily was already level two. I, I guess I can accept her death temporarily since she was already level two. But yeah, don't unless you're a thief with some good fine traps. Don't get rid of her this early in the game. At least wait. If you're gonna get rid of her, I would say at least wait till you're done with the mines because you need a good trap finder in the mines. Uh, what's closer? This border. Okay. Alright, so, we finished exploring High Hedge, uh, so that'll conclude this episode. Next time on Baldur's Gate, we will finally continue on the main road, um, and uh, continue on the journey to Nash Cow. So, I will, I will see you guys then. Oh my lord. Uh No. -uh. What? What? Why are what what? Why are there so many dragons? <laughs> oh, nice to know that works. Uh Oh, that's cool. I've never seen... Ow. I've never seen the, uh... Eh, I shot him. Oh, that actually hurt. I've never seen the... the end in the, uh, Spax texture pack.